Hello, magandang araw. I am Jason Christopher, the founder of AD, and today we'll be talking about my B Triple RT Momentum algorithm. This will be 20% of the algorithm, and the remaining 80% is your experience with the setup. This can only be achieved through the willingness and commitment by the viewer. Please take note that all the things that you hear and you will be hearing are ideas that I have collected all throughout the years of trading and must not be used as advice. Setup idea. My momentum algorithm anchors the idea that we buy as the stock is gaining momentum and then we sell as the stock hits a resistance or is weakening. The setup is best traded in a bullish market condition and should be traded less often on bearish market conditions. A gauge to know if the market is bullish is if its RSI is greater than 50. Prerequisites of the stock The stock must have at least 20% potential reward. This can be calculated by measuring the percent distance of the current price to the next two resistances. Number two, the stock must have had at least 50 million in trade value. This is a loose prerequisite as there are stocks that have only 40 million in traded value but are still eligible for the setup. And the last one, the stock must be on RSI positive, meaning the stock is above RSI 50. Time frames, daily and three minutes. Daily is where we plot our levels and 3 minutes is where we execute our setup. Indicators are RSI, volume, and above anything else, the price action. Our entry is based on the BRRRT or BRRRT setup. This is the BRRRT framework. Kung makikita nyo, madaming R pero ginawa ko na lang tatlong R para mas madaling basahin. First, we have these two lines. Ano ba to? This one is our daily level and this one is our intraday level. Meaning, this one occurs intraday and this one occurs at the daily time frame. As the stock is going up, it will hit this level. If it breaks out of that level, that will be our letter P or our breakout. Of course, walang stock na always aakyat or from start to finish of the trading day, paakyat lang lahat. So, we will see the second part, the retrace. If the stock retraces, hopefully, it reaches our daily level. It can be the next daily level after the breakout. For example, if you have another level here and the stock retraces and retests that level, it can be called a retest or it can be included in the retest component. Now, if the stock retraces and retests that level, it can be our second entry. This is our first entry. This is our second entry. Next, if the stock twists up and continues the momentum, this will be our third entry, the rebreak. This is uh, actually the safest entry among the three because it breaks the previous intraday high. After it rebreaks, most of the time, it comes back on the retest level here or the intraday level after it retraces and retests the intraday level you can add another intraday level here and then that will be another rebreak level after that you just hold your position and look at the daily level next our exit will be the level breakdown on the third day or reverse B triple RT. Our cut loss is a close below the breakout point. If we bought at the breakout point and at the end of the day it closes below the breakout point, we sell our shares. Here is the setup. We enter on the first day using the B triple RT framework. Day 2 we hold for the second day unless it hits the cut loss level. Day 3, we exit on the third day as long as there is a weakness or a breakdown. Trade number 1, Dito. As you can see, merong tatlong kandila. Candle 1, Candle 2, 
Candle 3. This is actually one of the plays I made previously. So here I bought Tito around 12.30 which I was actually filled at around 12.28 and I sold Dito at around 14.16 here. Now, as you can see, there is a level around 12.40. So pwede dyan ka na bumili. And then, hold for the second day and then sell on the third day. As you can see, meron tayong level na hit sa day 3 or the candle 3 which is the 14 pesos. So you look to sell above 14 pesos or below 14 pesos pag nag-breakdown na, depende sa'yo. So let us take a look at the intraday levels. Here, sa BRRT, ang ginamit ko lang is the rebreak. The stop here hits the 12.30 level. Nag-retrace dito. Walang na-retest kasi walang daily level na na-hit. And then, ito lang ginawa ko. I bought here at the rebreak level. So I was filled at 12.28 sa 12.30 sana. So after I bought here, nag-breakout, tumulo yung stock. Nag-retest dito, 12.30. And I held, waited for the closing of the stock. If the stock closed below that level, 12.30, I will sell my shares. If the stock closed above that level, I will hold my shares. Next, let us take a look at the third day. This is the third day of the same setup. So, kita nyo naman, nag up si Dito, Dito. Pero nag-fade agad. And it hit the 14 pesos level. And, pero hindi siya nag-close below. So, I held. And, mamakayat pa si Dito. And, kung makikita nyo Dito, nag-gawa siya ng lower high. After niya gumawa ng lower high, naghanap na ako ng weakness. And here, around 14.18, sinabayan ko na yung buhasan dito. I was filled around 14.16. And yun na nga, tumuloy si dito. So that gave me around 15%. Okay? So this will be the only one setup na ipakapakita ko sa inyo na may screenshot na ganito kasi uh, nahihirapan ako dito hanapin. No? Seat? Eto, hindi ko to na trade pero nasama ko sa backtest. PHA. So here, there is a level to be broken. Here, this is around the 0.80 level. So if you bought here at the breakout, since the closure above the breakout level, you hold that one. You hold for the second day, and on the third day, you look for a weakness. Whether ito, 2G. Since indecision can be considered as a weakness. So, pwede kang magbenta dito or the next day na. And that will give you 27%. Next, PHA pa rin, pero na-trade ko to. So here, kamuha siya ng lower highs no? around this area. Here is a level that I am looking. 1.08 level, pero I bought around 1 peso. So here, bumili ako 1 peso, around 1 peso. It closed above the level. I held for the second day and I sold around 1 above 139 on the third day. So if we take a look at the back testing perspective, you have made 28.70% using the momentum algorithm. Number 4, same. Merong breakout level dito. Pasok ka sa breakout. Hold second day, third day, na hit yung 846, 846 is the previous 52 week high level. Na untog siya dyan. You can sell EOD or you can sell at the 8.46 itself. That will give you around 12% in percentage gains. Next, number 5. Here, si Tech naman. 6 pesos is the breakout level. You buy here, 6 pesos. Hold kasi nag-close above 6 pesos. Hold second day. Next, third day, maghanap ka na ng weakness. You can sell here at the closing or pwede ka mag-sell dito sa low niya if nabasag yung low. So, magbebenta ako sa closing. Next, the sixth one, MY. So, here, na-trade ko din to kasama nung previous na iba, hindi ko, pa, hindi ko pala na mention. Here, si MY nag-close 8 pesos pero nag-above 8.20 to before EOD. Pero binentahan lang, closing. No? 
So, my average here is around 8.18, 8.20 plus, no? Next, I held my shares here. Held second day. Sold here. So, weakness sa uh, third day. Around 960 area. Okay? That gave me around 18%, no? So, less than 18% siguro kasi dito ako nakabili. Dito ako naka-sell sa taas. Okay? PXP. Ito si PXP. There is a level here. Around 5.38. The level can be way, way, way far away dito sa left. Or malapit dito. In this case, 5.38 is a level to the left. 5.38 since dito nag-close above 5.38 with a gap, with a volume, you buy EOD, pwede, depende sa'yo, or pwede kang bumili in today sa 5.38. So, hold, hold second day, look for weakness on the third day. So, pwede ka mag-sell sa closing, or sa 7 pesos, or above 7 pesos, depende sa'yo, depende sa BRRT setup, so that will give you a 30%. Next, the last one, we have APL. Ito, na-trade ko din to. So, I bought at a breakout of 2.550. So, my average was 2.5 something below 2.550 kasi bumibili-bili na ako dito. So, 0 0.2550 or 0.26 depende sa'yo. Now, if you bought here, held for the second day, and then sold on the third day, it will give you around 9.62% in gains. So, basically, that is the setup. You buy on the first day, on the breakout, held on the second day, sell on the third day using the BRRT setup. And that's it. If you have some questions, kindly message me on Messenger or on Discord. Goodbye. See you on the next one.